we are learning to solve change unknown problems using place value and partitioning. So the first thing you might ask are what are change unknown problems? This is an example of a change unknown problem where we know the start of the problem and we know the end but we don't know what the number is in the middle. Usually we know the first number and the number are in the middle, but we don't know what the answer is. But a change unknown problem is where we don't know um, the value in the middle. Here's an example of a change unknown problem. I want to buy a motorbike that costs $99. So that's my last um, answer, 99 I have saved 54. How much more do I need to save? So that will be my change unknown. I have 54. I need to get to 99. How much more do I need? So now we're going to look at how to solve these change unknown problems. So here's my problem. Clara has 24 dolls. She gets more for Christmas and now she has 39 dolls. How many did she get for Christmas? The number story that that's asking me to solve is 24. Clara has 24 dolls. She gets more for Christmas and now she has 39 dolls in total. How many did she get for Christmas? That's this one here that I want to work out. And I'm going to use um, place value to help me to work out the answer to that. Now I know that 24 is made up of two tens and four ones. So I want to work out how many more I need to get me to 39. At the moment I have two tens, but I need three tens. So I need one more ten so that I have three tens altogether. Now I have to think about my ones. I have four ones here but I need to have nine ones altogether. So I know that I that four and five more is going to make nine so I need five more ones. Right, let's check if we have 39 altogether. I've got 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have got 39 altogether. And this is my um, change unknown answer. This is what needs to go here. What have I got here? I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 24 plus 15 more gets me to 39. So I used place value to help me to work out um, the answer to that. Okay, let's have a look at another way that we can solve these change unknown problems. So here's my problem. Carter wanted to buy a bed for his new puppy. He has $14 saved, but the bed costs $32. How much more does he need to save? So this is how I would write that problem as um, a number equation. So Carter has $14 saved, but the bed costs $32 altogether. How much more does he need to save? Now I'm going to so solve this change unknown question this time using um, partitioning um, up through tens to help me do that. So I'm going to use this number line here um, to help me work out this problem. So I'm starting on 14 because that's how much money Carter's got for a start. Now I'm going to partition up through my tens. So my nearest 10 from 14 is here at 20. So I'm going to So I'm going to jump 1 2 3 4 5 6 to get to 20. 
and here's what I've done so far, but I'm only at 20 and I need to get to 32. I know that if I jump 10 more from 20, that's going to get me to 30. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to jump from the 20 up to 30 and now I'm here. And here's what I've done here. 20 plus 10 equals 30. But I still need to get to 32. So I know that I need to jump 2 more. From 30 to 31 to 32. To get me to that 32. And this is what I've done here. Now I need to see how much I jumped all together. Because that is going to tell me my answer here. So I'm going to add my 6, my 10 and my 2. So I know that 6 plus 10 is 16, plus 2 more must equal 18. So 14 plus 18 more gets me to 32 altogether. So today you're going to work on um, using one of those strategies or both of those strategies to help you to solve change unknown problems.